un moment donné, la population guinéenne disait « Quand tu vas à l'hôpital, tu vas mourir. » Les malades avaient peur de l'hôpital. Les soignants avaient peur des malades. Ebola, a virus, an epidemic, and anguish for the planet. For many in Africa, Ebola is also responsible for the collapse of the already precarious health systems of the endemic countries. Sierra Leone, Guinea and Liberia. In Monrovia, the capital of Liberia, certain areas of the city have become a symbol of sanitary and social damage from one of the most dangerous viruses of the world. You know, West Point is one of the most important slam in, in, uh, in Monrovia. There are approximately 30 to 40,000 people who are living there. And when you see the living condition, that they are facing on a daily basis. You understand why it was so fast. They have to close and they, met, they, they had to put West Point on quarantine. And it was very difficult because at this time also, people got the, got the impression they were threatened by the death, they were threatened by the, by the disease. And at this time, what's happened quite often, this violence increased and it's, it was quite a huge issue at this time. In order to contain the epidemic, West Africa had to prioritize. IPC is already crucial in normal times and became essential at the height of the crisis of the Ebola epidemic. IPC measures had to be implemented for the affected population as well as for the health professionals to protect themselves and others. What is important to understand is in fact why the transmission was, what the spreading of the Ebola was so fast. Because the weakness, the weakness of the health system. You know, the point is also IPC infection prevention and control was in existence. The most important was just to make, to make alcohol-based and solution available. And it was a huge, huge, huge challenge. Well, it's not in-house. Of course, it's the prerequisite. It's the number one priority to improve hand hygiene. It's the entrance door. Alcohol is actually the best way to kill bacteria. It is the most powerful and most efficient way to actually drop counts of bacteria on hands and it's extremely useful. And last but not least, it has been selected by WHO to be on the essential medicine list. This emergency became rapidly global, requiring the involvement of different institutions. Among others, the Geneva University Hospitals, which is on the leading edge of infection prevention and control thematics. They developed in Geneva a set of kits to locally produce alcohol-based hand rub solutions adapted to the epidemic context and were then distributed in Guinea and Liberia. The distribution of these kits was facilitated by the Swiss Agency of Development and Cooperation and the necessary alcohol came from the region. Sierra Leone is a producer of this raw material. The production of the alcohol-based hand rub solution follows the guidelines of the World Health Organization. This effort is supported by a specific training in order for the countries to decrease the risks and become autonomous in prevention. Ben, ça représente euh, la, la, la mise en place du projet dont on a parlé depuis, depuis des mois. Et puis là, on est vraiment dans le, dans le vif du sujet. Et puis, c'est extraordinaire de, de pouvoir euh, amener à terme ce, ce projet. De, de, de pouvoir mettre ça en place ici, en Guinée, je trouve fabuleux de pouvoir euh, transposer ce, ce projet euh, ici. Durant ces deux jours, on a pu quand même exécuter le programme qu'on a mis en place en tenant compte de, des exigences de la formation, à savoir des formations théoriques et des formations pratiques où les participants doivent eux-mêmes pratiquer euh, en tout cas les, les actes qu'on les a démontrés, soit à travers les posters ou la projection des vidéos. Et je crois que vraiment l'objectif a été atteint. 
an objective that was shared by all the health actors both in Guinea and Liberia in parallel with dealing with the emergency that the epidemic context imposed was to develop the know-how and the local human resources for the production of alcohol-based hand rub solution. Notre hôpital n'avait pas à sa disposition cet équipement mais aujourd'hui c'est déjà une base pour pouvoir reproduire plusieurs fois ce que nous avons appris aujourd'hui. Parce que ça devient une fierté pour nous qu'on dise, voilà, en Guinée, l'hôpital là a produit le premier flacon. Il y a beaucoup de maladies qui, qui sont gagnées à partir des mains sales. Donc l'hygiène des mains, non seulement dans les hôpitaux, au niveau de la population, ça va apporter les, la santé pour la population. This training has really impacted the life of the specifically the Bon County people were cast in regards to the Ebola crisis, meaning that people were more motivated to see people producing their own local oil sensitizer. Now we can do our own production, our own local and production of alcohol. So it has impacted the life of people. The obvious consequence of the awareness of infection, prevention and control, decrease of mortality linked to infections contracted in hospitals. This approach will also renew the population's confidence in the hospitals, especially for those who feared clinics during the epidemic and even today prefer to avoid health centers. When I visited the hospital during the outbreak, the hospital was totally empty. It was just a total collapse of the health system. They were empty because the health professional, they fear to come. The population fear to come. But also part of the health professional, they died due to Ebola. That's why by providing the capacity to the local pharmacies to produce by themselves the alcohol-based and web solution is something which is very important because it restores the trust and the confidence to the population but also to the health staff. Unfortunately, a lot of people die of Ebola. Unfortunately, a lot of people feared Ebola, but it was also an opportunity to introduce basic infection control in this part of the world this basic infection control that will help them for years and years to come. Another common infections, hospital infections, as we used to say it, are killing 16 million patients all over the world every year. Now in Africa, it's clear that the risk is much higher than in many other parts of the world. The risk is between two, three, to even 50 times higher in Africa than it is in most other, or at least in developed countries. On the front line since the beginning of the epidemic, Garrison Coelane. He's a nurse anesthetist who trained himself in prevention and control of infection. He completed his training in Geneva to apply the techniques in his own country and to be able to train other health professionals. Already in the country there is an RPC team, national RPC team, that we wish to, to, to network with so that the lesson learned in Geneva can be maximized so that at the national level we can advise the team on what needs to be done and what needs not to be done. The success of such a project in the long run depends on the ability to locally produce the alcohol-based hand rub solution to sustain training of pharmacists and future trainers both in Guinea and Liberia. This of course will also depend on the political commitment which needs to remain involved and take full account of the situation and the permanent risk of infection. The alcohol this hand rub is being used in our hospitals now. It is something that we like to have all over in our health facilities. For it to be sustainable, we would prefer if we can produce locally, considering the fact that sugar cane is produced here. And so the raw materials is in country. Uh, sugar cane being a farming product will also provide job opportunity for the locals as well and so we appreciate it and we look forward to working with the team to be able to move it on. <laughs> <laughs>